Hi everyone, let's talk makeup and today I have a review and lip swatches of this Bessemer Cosmetics um, mini lipstick set. Uh, so I am wearing one of the colors right now but I am going to go ahead and um, do hand and lip swatches of each of these. Um, so if you're interested, stick around. Here we go. Okay. So the first one I'm going to um, go in with is um, from 1970. Um, each of their lipsticks is associated with a year, like this is the color that was in or big that year. And they do a ton of research um, on the colors and to get it just right. They they do they put on a ton of work into their products, which is one of the reasons why I really enjoy them. Um, so this one's uh, from 1970 and it's called Chocolate Kiss. So uh, let me give you the hand swatch of Chocolate Kiss and I'll come back in a second with the lip swatch. Okay, so here it is. This is Chocolate Kiss and I thought that on me this was going to be like a brown uh, but on my skin tone and on my lips, which as you saw before, I had nothing on my lips beforehand. Um, I have very pigmented lips. It actually comes off with a little bit of orange. It actually is reminding me a lot of the Too Faced um, peach kiss and got peach like it's got that like orange brown in it um, at least on my lips so yeah I'm really really enjoying this color because I I'm really into these colors um, especially in the fall when I feel like oh pumpkin-y um, and um, all that jazz so loving this color a lot so moving on to the next one, this one is the 1969 color and it's Dusty Rose. So this one I already own, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and um, swipe it again because I think this is the one that is particularly on in um, my purse. Uh, so let me show you what this looks like. So here is Dusty Rose. It is a really, really gorgeous mauve color. I really like it. If you only want one color beauty or you're trying to just try them and um, you, maybe you don't like lipstick minis and you just want a full size one, I would encourage you to pick up this one because it's um, a really great color. It'll work for every day and yet it'll look pretty in more colorful looks as well. Um, and it goes with a ton of um, different kinds of looks. So just my opinion that I think this is a really great color. Um, so uh, it, this, in terms of formula, I do want to say that um, Bite Beauty, it, sorry, not, <laughs> Besame, Besame Cosmetics is a really nice formula. It's comfortable, it's not drying, there's a creaminess aspect to it, but it's not so creamy that it's slippery. Like it's not going to be slippery and it is pretty long lasting on the lips, especially if you uh, pay attention to the way you apply it. If you apply it with a, a lip brush and then kind of um, get a paper towel or something, uh, blot it off and then reapply, it does, it will last um, quite a bit on your, on your lips. If you haven't seen Emily Noel's videos on Besame Cosmetics, um, then um, you really should. So the next color here is um, 1935 and this is called Cherry Red. Um, so I am excited to try this red. Here is the hand swatch of it at the end here. It looks really gorgeous so I can't wait to see what it looks like on my lips. I'll be right back. So this is what it looks like on my lips. It is a really really um, gorgeous color. I think it is perfect for the holiday season. I can see myself wearing this a lot and in fact I'm already planning that this is probably um, the lip set that I'm going to take with me um, over the holidays when I go visit uh, my family. Yes, look at this red. It is just awesome. I haven't used any lip liner um, or anything like that with it so I know that the lip swatch isn't perfect but hopefully it gives you a sense of the way it looks like um, on me and the way it might on you. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the next one is 1946 and it is called Red Velvet. Um, so this is a kind of, um, it looks like a um, slightly, slightly lighter, not quite as deep of a red as Cherry Red. Um, but um, oh, I'm kind of excited to see how that will look on my lips and on my skin tone. So I'll be back in one second. Okay, so this is Red Velvet. Again, um, a really nice red. I 
I also really like the way that this one um, looks on me. Um, kind of taking a look real quick because I haven't tried uh, most of these. The only one of these um, lips um, in the lip set that I already own was the Dusty Rose. So I am really enjoying seeing how these look on me. Um, yeah, so let's get on to the last one. All right, guys, so I um, we're going to give you a hand swatch of this one. So again, this is the Noir Red from 1930. And um, it's taking me a hot minute to get used to seeing this deep of a color on my lips. I do really enjoy it. I've been um, a lot more into um, these deep colors lately. I just, it's been a while since I put something quite this deep on my lips and I'm a little bit it's just taking me a minute to get used to it I'm really enjoying it though overall like as I'm looking um, at the mirror behind of the camera I think oh yeah I can pull that off <laughs> um, so yeah uh, this is um, the lip set then as you can see here so it comes with these five um, gorgeous um, lip colors the formula is gorgeous. I think these are, um, when they come in this mini set, one of the reasons I like um, in the mini set, despite the fact that I love this formula so much that I could probably buy each of these colors in the full size, the mini set allowed me to throw throw them in the in my purse and take them with me. Um, when I first apply these lipsticks, I like to use the method that I mentioned earlier um, that Emily Emily Noel 83 mentioned in her video um, where you uh, put it on with a lip brush. Um, you blot it off and then you reapply more with the lip brush and that does help them stay on longer. It makes them a little bit more uh, time consuming. They require a little bit more maintenance, but you can also just apply them straight from the tube. And I think this is what the mini set helps you do is um, kind of apply them, reapply them afterwards in a very easy way. The, this deep color does, um, I found that it required a little bit more attention. Um, as I was doing the lip swatches, I was not using a lip brush, but for this last one, I went ahead and grabbed a lip brush um, be, in order to kind of maintain it within my lip lines. So, um, so really gorgeous. These are really worth it for events, for special occasions, especially. Uh, but like I said, I use them on a on a daily basis as well. Like I, Dusty Rose for me is a very uh, work appropriate lipstick that is gorgeous and easy to work with. So uh, that's my opinion on the Besame uh, lip kit. Here is the mini lipstick set. Um, if you can, I really, really recommend you grab it, that you try it. Um, try the formula, see if you like it. This, these mini sets are a great way to try new lipsticks. And this lip set in particular, I think is really great on a lot of different skin tones. Like there's not a nude in this set. Ah, oh, hallelujah. I hate when they put in uh, nudes for like um, light skin tones because those are lipsticks that I automatically have to like discount. They're not, I'm not going to use them. So uh, they're not part of the value uh, for me. Uh, this one does not have any. I can use every single one of these lipsticks and I enjoy each of these colors. I enjoy the formula. I highly recommend it. So that is it for me. I will see you in the next one. Bye.